This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone, thank you all for joining. We're going to start today's webinar. Um, so we have a very nice topic today. It's about some healthy tips for Ramadan. Um, so since Ramadan is around the corner and I just want you guys to be healthy and energetic um, during this uh, holy month. Okay, so we're going to um, start with some tips on how to be healthy and energetic and what are the products you can take um, during the month of Ramadan. Okay, so first, uh, this is a small introduction. So the month of Ramadan is a great opportunity to focus on bringing back a balanced and healthy lifestyle in your life. Uh, through fasting, you begin to learn how to manage your eating habits, how to improve your self-control and discipline. Because, you know, like um, during Ramadan, it's very hard to uh, just try to be to focus, um, to try to go through hours of fasting. So this is a very nice um, like uh, period to be in control and discipline, to have a routine. And this month will also, will also require you to give your stomach a break. And by doing so, you are expelling toxins from your body. Okay, so it's very beneficial. It's very healthy, so uh, embrace this holy month in a healthy way. Now, what are the benefits of fasting? First, it promotes blood sugar control by reducing insulin, insulin resistance. So for people, for example, who have really high insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes, this is a very good way to reverse uh, your blood sugar, um, your high blood sugar levels. So because during fasting periods, your, your blood sugar levels are going to be controlled. OK, so for people who have really like type 2 diabetes, it's going to be a, a, an important time for them. It also fights inflammation. So inflammation in your whole body, it might help fight it. It also helps enhance your heart health by improving blood pressure, triglyceride levels and cholesterol levels. OK, so very important whenever you fast, all these uh, lipids or triglycerides and cholesterol will go down. It is also really good for the brain health. It also helps and it aids in weight loss by limiting calorie intake because you're only having basically one meal or just two uh, and a small one, I mean, so it's a whole. So that way you're not eating a lot of calories throughout the day. OK, it also helps eliminate toxins. So from your body, because you're flushing out toxins since you're eating less portions, especially if you're eating healthy for the star and the whole, that way your body is going to be cleansed and you will be using your own body fat for fuel. That's why some people, they lose weight during Ramadan, because when you're fasting, uh, actually during your fast period, uh, your, your body is using your fat um, to, to like uh, burn energy. OK, so this is very important. This is why people, some people, most of the people actually lose weight during Ramadan. Now, how can you avoid feeling lazy? Because during the day, of course, a lot of people are going to feel tired, lazy. Um, they're not energetic. They're going to be sleeping. Um, so this is how you can avoid feeling lazy. Um, you need to try to reduce uh, caffeine, caffeinated beverages so that they won't keep you up late, okay? Especially for Sohoir, um, try not to drink any caffeine or like tea that contains some caffeine or sodas like Coke. Try to focus more on water, on like um, healthy orange juice, um, on some herbal tea, okay? Our tea is really good because it doesn't contain any caffeine, so you can uh, take that as uh, for Sohoir or as a snack. Uh, don't have a style or so hold while watching television so that you don't overeat. This is very important. So try to always have a meal um, like away from the television so that you also eat smaller portions. Uh, avoid heavy meals for a star. Okay, always try to have small healthy meals. Uh, you can also try to divide your iftar intake into two meals if you don't feel like if you can't eat one heavy meal. Okay, try to have smaller meals, uh, two to, for example, two or three, uh, and then you can wait three hours in between. And lastly, try to go for a walk after iftar in two hours, okay, or just work out at home. 
this is very important because the digestion is going to be easier on your stomach since you, you haven't been eating all day and then and then when a third comes you can have a small uh, meal and then try to work out after two hours then have when, uh, after having a third okay so this is like some tips to avoid feeling lazy now i need you also to focus this is a very important slide on the quality of food that you're eating during ramadan okay so these are i, I divided them into two groups the food that are healthy and the food that you should avoid so healthy foods are like complex carbs, like grains, seeds, wheat, oats, beans, lentils, basmati rice. Okay, so these are complex carbs that will make you feel full and that you don't need to add a lot. So just like two tablespoons of them and you're already full. Uh, also some fiber rich foods like bran, cereals, whole wheat, potatoes, vegetables, fruits. These are very important to include in your meals protein okay uh, just try to grill your protein never fry food so you can have some chicken some beef eggs turkey etc some healthy fats like avocado olive oil nuts coconut oil okay these are really good as well now the foods that you should try to avoid are deep fried foods okay try not to eat anything fried because it's going to be too heavy on your stomach since you haven't been eating all day and then suddenly you're going to eat something really fried and heavy you, you might have some indigestion or some um you know reflux and we don't want that high sugar food so uh, also if you are eating a lot of food that are high in sugar like desserts and all that try to only have a small bite okay don't eat a whole meal of high sugar food um, also high fat cooked food so also like if you eat uh, if you add a lot of fat try to reduce that. And some caffeine, we already mentioned that before, because caffeine is going to keep you uh, up late and you're not going to sleep well. And also it stimulates faster weight loss because it's a diuretic. Okay, and you should also drink eight to 10 cups of water during the day to avoid dehydration and especially aloe vera gel. Now we're going to get to that later. Uh, this will keep you hydrated and you won't have, you know, like some migraines, because uh, sometimes when you are dehydrated, uh, your head, you're going to get some headaches. So that's why it's very important to always be hydrated on, on a start and to hold. So try to drink eight to 10 cups of water. And if you are a smoker, this is the best time to reduce and even stop smoking gradually. Okay, try to um, like um, tr try to challenge yourself and try to cut off on everything that is, you know, bad for your body, like smoking. So this is basically like a detox period, okay, that uh, is very important that you will remove your toxins from it and um, you will feel much better after, um, you know, uh, like iftar and suhoor and after this whole month, especially for your body, for your digestive system. Now, uh, we finished like small introduction. I want to go to the forever living product that you can take during Ramadan and how to take them. First product is, of course, the Forever Aloe Vera Gel. Um, why do you need to take aloe vera gel during Ramadan? Um, well, because for, first, it's very beneficial for your digestive system. And since you're fasting the whole day, uh, your digest, digestion is going to be low. And then suddenly, you're going you're gonna to eat a meal. That's why you might have indigestion or some digestion problems. OK, so you can drink 30 milliliters of aloe vera gel twice a day, you can have uh, once for suhoor, once for iftar and once for suhoor, okay? During suhoor and during iftar, 30 milliliters. Um, it is also really good for your, your immunity because when you're fasting, your immunity is actually gonna go down. And we don't want your immunity to get to go down nowadays because now you have to boost your immunity uh, because of the coronavirus and all other types of viruses and uh, uh, sickness, okay? So aloe vera gel will help with your digestive system, with the immunity. It also helps maintain healthy cholesterol and blood sugar levels. So it's good also for people who have cholesterol and diabetes. It, it also contains so many vitamins and minerals. So since you're, you're losing a lot of vitamins and minerals like potassium, magnesium during the day, it's good to uh, drink aloe vera gel it also contains uh, eight essential amino acids and it enhances the nutrient absorption of the food that you're eating. That's why 
you have to break your fast by drinking 30 milliliters of aloe vera gel, okay? And so that the nutrients you're, you're gonna take from the star or from the tahor is gonna be absorbed much better. Okay, so this is the first product you need to take or include while, uh, while doing uh, Ramadan or while fasting. Now, the second product, if you would like, because you don't, because I'm sure many of you don't want to gain weight in this period, so you can also take the Garcinia Plus. It's a very important product to include in your uh, Ramadan meal plan. Why? Because the Garcinia, it also, uh, it helps um, like reduce your appetite. Okay, so that way you won't eat a very big meal um, after like when you break your fast. Okay, so how can you take it? You need to take one tablet with dates because you know, like you break your um, you break your um, fasting while eating one date. So take one Garcinia tablet while having one date, and then uh, this is for iftar. And then if you want to take another tablet for suhoor, you need to take one tablet 30 minutes before suhoor. Okay, that way you'll be taking two tablets per day, and you won't be eating big quantities or big amounts of um, calories. Uh, since also you'll be uh, prohibiting absorption of carbs, calories, I mean, from carbs and fat. Okay, so this is very important to, to remain healthy during Ramadan and not gain weight. Now, the third product, which is very important as well during Ramadan, is the Forever Royal Jelly. This is a very important superfood. Why? Uh, because it boosts your energy and your immune system. Okay, so. Um, I'm sure during Ramadan, um, all of us might feel weak, might feel like you're, you're tired, you don't have energy, your, our immunity is low. This is why you need, you need to boost it uh, with um, royal jelly, okay? It also helps the, uh, the liver function, the wound healing, some weak, uh, your weak and tired eyes, um, especially also in menopause. It helps lower cholesterol levels and it eliminates wrinkles and prevents hair loss. So you can take one tablet after iftar and uh, one tablet after suhoor, okay? Just to boost your energy and your immunity. Uh, just here, there is a small note that for people who have a low blood pressure, it is better to avoid uh, taking the Forever Royal Jelly, okay? Because it might lower your blood pressure even more, okay? Now, the next product that you can include also in your Ramadan uh, meal plan is the field of greens. Because as I said before, the field of, uh, like during Ramadan, a lot of people are gonna experience indigestion or problems with digestion. They're not gonna take, um, they're not gonna eat enough vegetables and you know, a green food source. So this is why it's good to include field of greens in your meal plan, because it also controls blood sugar levels, it is good for constipation and indigestion because a lot of people will experience constipation and indigestion, especially when they're fasting for a long period of hours and they're not eating really healthy. Um, so this is why you need to include some green food source, okay? You can take one tablet after iftar and one tablet after suhoor as well. The next product we're going to talk about is the Forever Arctic Tea. Also, you need some really good, you know, a healthy fat in your body. So you need some uh, omega-3 for to better your blood circulation of the whole body. So um, that way you will also uh, maintain a normal blood pressure, a normal heart and uh, triglyceride levels. This is very important uh, to include omega-3 in your diet. Uh, since you're not gonna be eating every day, you know, the same food like fish, and some healthy nuts maybe, or oils. So it's good to also include Arctic tea in your um, diet. And you can take two tablets after iftar and two tablets after suhoor. Okay, so um, Forever Arctic tea is also a very important um, supplement to include um, while fasting. Now, I always get asked if you can do the C9 during Ramadan, okay? Every Ramadan, we get asked this question. And my answer would be yes. You can do that, but just also be careful. This is only for healthy people, okay? Because we don't want to overdo it. Because uh, C9 is already a very low calorie meal plan or program. And during Ramadan, anyway, you're fasting the whole day. 
and uh, so you won't be eating a lot of calories um, and you won't be energetic. So the, you know, a lot of people are gonna not want to do C9 during Ramadan, but for people who would like to do and who would like to lose even more weight during Ramadan, they can do the C9. So first, um, this is how it's gonna be for the, you know, like uh, the, the supplements, how can you take them? First put a start, you need to start by taking two dates, okay, and two Garcinia tablets. Then you just wait um, like 10 minutes, okay, and then you eat your 600 calorie meal plan, which is all in the booklet. So you follow the booklet, what can you eat for 600 calories? And then you drink 30 milliliters of aloe vera gel mixed with water. And then you take one tablet of therm. Okay, this is for iftar. Now, for as a snack, so this is after like two hours, we can say, or one hour and a half. You, you need to also take another two Garcinia tablets. Then you take one fiber, you mix it with water uh, and you drink it. And also you take one tablet of therm. Here you can also do some exercises while taking the therm and the fiber. So you can just walk around. You can do a bit of exercises at home. Okay, so just like 30 minutes to just boost your digestion, your energy, your metabolism. Um, then for suhoor, so this is, it can be two hours later or, you know, uh, before you go to bed uh, in like an hour before that. Uh, you can, you need to also take another two tablets of Garcinia. Then you need to drink 30 milliliters of aloe vera gel with water. And you take here one scoop of Light Ultra. It's good to mix it with water or with like low fat milk or almond milk. Okay, uh, try to, to keep it as light as possible so that you can go to sleep feeling relaxed. And before going to bed, you need to drink eight ounces of water. Okay, so this is basically the plan during, uh, for C9, I mean, during Ramadan. This is how you can um, divide the product and the meal plan. Um, okay, so this is my email. Of course, for people who don't have my email, uh, just in case, make sure all of your phones are muted. Uh, you can always text, uh, send me an email and I'll reply directly. I will just go back for, for the new joiners because maybe they didn't have the time to um, see the whole presentation. And then we will start with the question. Okay, so I was just, just saying that uh, the, whole, the month of Ramadan is a very important um, like um, period for you guys for self-control to improve your health and for discipline okay and this month requires you to to give your stomach a little break and to to have a healthier digestive system and to remove the toxins from your body these are some benefits of fasting uh, it promotes blood sugar control uh, it also fights inflammation it will enhance your heart health by improving blood pressure, triglycerides, and cholesterol levels. It is also really good for the brain health. Um, it, is, it aids in weight loss and it limits calorie intake. It also eliminates toxins from your body since you're fasting and you're only eating healthy for iftar and sahur. And it uses your own body fat for fuel. This is why a lot of people lose weight during Ramadan. This is a very important um, like period to help you be healthy and to get your body back, back on track. Now, these are some tips to avoid feeling lazy. Uh, so you need to try to reduce caffeinated beverages, especially for so that they, they don't keep you up late so that you will sleep better and you don't feel lazy the next day. So you can drink our herbal tea, okay? So it doesn't contain any caffeine or any uh, sugar, or any calories. Uh, you don't also, uh, don't have a star or so whole while, while watching television. Avoid heavy meals for a star. Always have something light and healthy, like for example, protein with a bit of carbs and a bit of vegetables. Um, you can also try to divide your star maybe into two meals if you don't want to have one heavy meal. And try to go for a walk after a start in two hours, you know, just for a better digestion and to boost your metabolism. Here are some foods that you can eat, that you can eat, and here are some foods that you need to avoid. Okay, so focus on the quality of food, like complex carbs, like fiber-rich foods, uh, like some protein, some healthy fats, and try to avoid 
fried foods, this is very important, and especially high sugar foods. So dessert, I know everyone craves dessert, but just have really like a small bite or instead just have a small piece of fruit. That way you will have really healthy sugar in your system instead of like um, the bad sugar. Also try to avoid high fat cooked foods and the caffeine, as we mentioned before. You need to also hydrate yourself so that you don't get any headaches, okay, or that you don't feel dehydrated or very tired. So that way you need to drink eight to 10 cups of water and of, of course with aloe vera gel for iftar and for suhoor. And if you are a smoker, this is the best time to try to reduce smoking and to, or to stop smoking altogether and gradually, okay? Now, we're gonna go back to the uh, Forever Living product that you can take during Ramadan. First is, of course, the aloe vera gel. So you need to take 30 milliliters uh, for iftar and 30 milliliters for suhoor. That way you will be hydrated and it is very good for the digestive system, okay? So that way you will have better absorption of nutrients and less indigestion and constipation. Also, the Garcinia Plus is very important if you don't want to gain weight. So you need to take one tablet with dates uh, for iftar, and then you need to take one tablet 30 minutes before suhoor. Uh, so that way, your um, your actually your appetite is gonna be uh, reduced, and you won't eat a, a big meal um, and less calories throughout the day. The next product is the royal jelly because as we said before whenever you're fasting your energy is going to be really low and your immune system is going to also be a bit um, uh, you're going to it's going to go down a little bit okay that's why you need to boost your energy and boost your immune system by taking royal jelly okay so you can take one tablet after iftar and one tablet after suhoor here just a small note for people who have low blood pressure, just the royal jelly might also lower your blood pressure a little bit more. So just be careful. Also, the field of greens is very important during uh, Ramadan because a lot of people will have constipation and indigestion. So it will help with your digestion. Uh, with, with your digestion. And um, also some people don't eat a lot of, you know, green food. So that's why you need to take uh, field of greens for as a green supplement. Uh, you can take one tablet after iftar and one tablet after suhoor. And also uh, the last product is the Forever Arctic Sea. It contains omega-3 and it is very important for the blood circulation of the whole body. So you need to take two tablets after iftar and two tablets after suhoor. Uh, now, if you don't want to take the Arctic Sea, you can you can take instead the Forever Daily. It's also very good for the vitamins and minerals because you might be losing um, some vitamins and minerals when you're fasting, okay? Just like magnesium, like potassium. Uh, so if you don't want to take Arctic Sea, I advise that you can take also daily just as a multivitamin. And this is uh, the C9 program during Ramadan that you need to follow if someone uh, from your customers would like to follow a C9 program during Ramadan. This is how it goes. So first they break their fast by taking two dates plus two Garcinia tablets. And then they need to eat 600 calorie meal plan. It's all from the booklet. Then they need to drink 30 milliliters of aloe vera gel mixed with water and one tablet of therm. Then for snack, you need to take also another two tablets of Garcinia one fiber you mix it with water and one therm and this is where you need to do a small exercise okay so uh, around the snack so you can just walk around you can do some set up uh, sit ups some push-ups uh, while staying at home you don't need to go out then for the whole you need to also take uh, two garcina but of course 30 milli 30 minutes i mean before your meal okay and then you can take 30 milliliters of aloe vera gel with water and then one scoop of Light Ultra. And lastly, before going to sleep, you need to drink eight ounces of water. And this is my email. You can email me whenever you guys want. Now we're gonna take your questions. So you can ask all your questions. Okay, I'm just gonna go back here. So go ahead, you can chat with me. We already have one question. Um, is the same um, 
uh, how is a 15, how can we do it during Ramadan? It's also the same as the C9, but, but you need to only include another meal for suhoor, okay? And another snack for snack, basically, that's it. But the, the, since the products are all the same, so you need to take supplements the same way. Okay, guys, so now you can ask all your questions regarding Ramadan, how you can have a better uh, fast. We have a question here, how can we take lean in Ramadan? Lean is very um, uh, easy to take in Ramadan. It's like the Garcinia. So all you need to do is take one tablet directly before um, star and directly before Sahur. We also have a question, how about RG and Pomstein? Um, we can also take them, of course, like, uh, for example, the RG plus, you can take it um, as a snack after the iftar, okay, or for suhoor. Uh, same for the Pomstein, you can take it, for example, for iftar instead of the aloe vera gel. Uh, for fiber, we already said, you need to take it as a snack. So after two hours from the iftar, you just mix one sachet with water. So that way you will feel more full. Forever greens can take five-year-old girl? No. So all the supplements should not be taken by, taken by like kids, okay? Only um, the Arctic Sea if they can swallow the pill. So we have a question, can we replace the yellow drinking gel with aloe berry nectar? Yes, of course you can do that. Garcinia for gallbladder stone, you, you need to take it the same way. So all you need to do is also take it, um, you know, 30 minutes before a meal. It's only, if you have kidney stone, then you don't, you don't need to, you, you shouldn't take gar Garcinia. Um, okay, so are we going to have a Ramadan combo pack this year? Uh, so actually, I need to check, okay, with, um, with the marketing team and we will let you know, but hopefully we will. Yes, customers, of course, can do the F15 during Ramadan. It's the same as the C9 that I mentioned, but they need to eat more calories. So it's, 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 it will be also healthy for them to do F15. Yes, the fatty liver products, we need to take um, the, the field of green, the royal jelly, and a bit of aloe vera gel. We have a question for, to recommend uh, to boost the energy for hypothyroidism. Uh, you can take uh, the therm. It's really good also to boost your metabolism the aloe vera gel and also even the royal jelly will help for if you want energy. Uh, for the product center, I'm not sure, but now we're doing home delivery, so you can order everything you want from home delivery. People who have asthma, yes, they can do the C9. Any other questions, guys? Try to remember what you have any question regarding Ramadan, meal plan, uh, fasting, uh, any other product. Thyroid patient can do C9. Yes, they can. If it's hypothyroidism, it's normal. If it's hyperthyroidism, they can do it as well, but they need to remove the therm. For weight gain in Ramadan, what can we recommend? So instead of the aloe vera gel, they can take the uh, berry nectar or bits and peaches. They can also 
uh, add the honey um, and they need to eat a lot of carbs and you know fruits for allergy for sneezing and itchy eyes you can take the allopropolis so the bee propolis i mean uh, it's good for allergies um so yeah Please, I don't understand the question, how many for 15 years, boy? What do you mean, how many? Uh, what is the difference between yellow gel and berry nectar? So the only difference is that the berry nectar has different flavors and it contains a bit of more calories. It contains also some additional, uh, like, um, cranberry. So, but it, it, you know, they, they give the same benefits, same benefits for digestion, the only difference also berry nectar can help also with urinary tract infection. Hello dear, yes, uh, actually we started home delivery today again, so you can just ask them, they will deliver for you. We have a question, 10 year old, just are you? 10 year old girl with acne can use aloe jelly propolis. What can I give her today? So for the acne, she can uh, add the aloe propolis cream with the jelly all together on the face to, to reduce the acne. For itchy skin, uh, also allopropolis cream will help. Um, so we have a question, how RG plus can help old age? So RG is actually really good because of the uh, blood circulation of the whole body. Also, uh, it contains lots of antioxidants. So um, it will help uh, reduce, you know, the oxidation in the body, also for uh, sexuality, energy, all that, it can help. Bumpy skin for baby like spot. Uh, like you can also add um, allopropolis or um, uh, the jelly. Any diet plan for people during Ramadan who want to lose weight? We are following the C9 or the F15 meal plan. Or you can just also follow uh, these foods that you can take and the foods that you need to avoid. Alternative of EpiBlank for the scars. Um, you can also do the scrub. Scrub is really good to reduce the scar scars. But also EpiBlank is really good. Um, I didn't recommend it. It's one of the best products. What to give a nearly three years old boy, baby, for eczema using aloe vera jelly and propolis cream, but nothing worked cream for her. Actually, these are the two products I recommend for eczema. If not, then you need to go check with the dermatologist. Uh, maybe they will give him something a bit like uh, hard, like stronger. And three-year-old girl have sensitive skin and skin is sensitive. For sensitive skin, they can also use the jelly. It will help. For tummy fat, this is basically, uh, oh, we have a question. Fit 15 can do it in Ramadan. Yes, we said we can do it in Ramadan. And for tummy fat, uh, people should reduce their calories intake. They need to follow ST9 or F15, and they need to exercise, not eat fatty food, and, uh, you know, like take Garcinia, all these weight management products we mentioned, like Garcinia, like aloe vera gel, feed of greens, and just work out as much as they can. 
for food allergies, which product is recommended? For food allergies, usually no, like they should avoid the food uh, as it is because nothing will actually help or reduce it. So if they are allergic, for example, to eggs, they need to stop eating eggs. Any other questions, guys? We have a question. If you order from WhatsApp, how many days will it take? Guys, regarding everything, regarding delivery, uh, you need to ask customer service, okay? Here, we're just focusing on the product and um, nutrition-wise, okay? Can we add Garcinia with 21 days plan on Ramadan? Yes, you can do that, of course. I hope you are all staying safe, staying at home, um, boosting your immunity, washing your hands frequently, um, using the hand sanitizer, drinking aloe vera gel and absorbency to boost the immunity. Because also before Ramadan, you need to have a good immunity because during Ramadan, it might go down, you know? So this is why you need to boost your energy and immunity now. So we have a question, Garcinia or Lean, which is the better option? Um, I recommend both, but the Garcinia, the plus with it is that it also helps reduce the appetite, so you will eat less. Any other questions, guys? For hair fall, yes, I recommend um, Nature Men aloe vera gel. Um, also, you can take if for women they can they can also take Vitalize Women and B12. These are really good, all good products for hair fall. Also. If you want shampoo and creams, you can take the jojoba shampoo and conditioner. The jelly, you can put it on your head and the aloe first and alpha E factor. So in Ramadan 21 days program, Garcinia will be eaten before or aloe gel needs to drink after Bring, yeah, so before you take the Garcinia, okay, with the dates, with water, and then you drink the aloe vera gel. For nearly three years old baby eczema, she had already steroids and antibiotics, but still the same now, waiting for some blood tests and allergy tests. What is good to reduce <coughs> facial hair? In that case, uh, for facial hair, you, you need to um, like balance your hormones. So you can you need to take vitalized women to balance your hormones, and also nature men to balance your minerals. Uh, can we have something for sizers seizures? You mean uh, seizures patients? Uh, so for seizure, usually we cannot change it. But they can take Jinko for you know the mental ability uh, to like enhance mental health. Any other questions, guys, before we end the presentation? We will do the same presentation, but in Arabic on Wednesday. So for people who, you know, who speak Arabic, you can invite them. Can pregnant women drink aloe vera gel? No, they cannot. What to suggest for a 30-year-old lady for brain tiredness? Uh, so for brain tiredness, I, I recommend B12 and Jinko. 
Parkinson patients is also like irreversible. Um, so, but they can also take the B12 for the nerves and all, and aloe vera gel. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining. We will be ending the presentation now. Uh, this presentation is recorded, so you can watch it again on YouTube uh, tomorrow. Okay, thank you for that and have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.